Move over Hogwarts, Syracuse University's business school is taking over. That's right, folks. Syracuse University's business school has introduced a new app that will bring Harry Potter to make their students more well-rounded. That's right. The next chapter in the Harry Potter series is coming to an unlikely place, Syracuse University. Instead of magic, there is technology. And instead of wizards in training, there are 400 future business whizzes that are getting their undergraduate degree. So this is going down at Syracuse. Their Whitman School of Management is encouraging their students with a new app encouraging them to attend extracurricular events in order to become more well-rounded, all the while earning points through this app to win the cup at the end of the year. So the Syracuse house that wins the most points is going to get a party thrown by the dean with maybe some non-alcoholic butter beer and some chocolate frogs to Hogwarts delicacies. The program, which is called Goodman Impress, uses a smartphone app that texts notifications to students who earn points for extracurricular activities. The goal is to become more well-rounded and, of course, win the competition. So when a student ends, enters a lecture, goes to a special extracurricular event, they swipe their ID, and the game focuses on including personal and professional leadership development, community engagement, and gaining expertise in various areas important for business success. At the end of the year, the house with the most points win the Goodman Cup, not the House Cup as in Harry Potter, and they get a sweet party. In Harry Potter, you may remember the houses were Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. At Syracuse, it's Adams, Marshall, Waverly, and Harrison. I love this. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I think this is awesome. A great way to get kids engaged. I wish we had this when I was in business school. I would have been all over it. It sounds like a great time. So big shout out to Syracuse for doing something interesting and innovative. And we will give a shout out at the end of the year to the house that wins Syracuse's Harry Potter Cup.